sa inyong lahat, mga kaibigan, mga kapatiran. It's a joy na naman na makapatuloy tayo sa ating pangangaral sa salita ng Painon this morning at ating basahin ng ating talata sa John chapter 21 verses 7 to 14 sa ating Tagalog na Biblia. Kahit ang alagad na minahal ni Jesus ay nagsabi kay Pedro, ang Panginoon yun. Kahit nang marinig ni Simon Pedro na yun ang Panginoon, ay nagbigkis siya ng kanyang tunika sapagkat siya ay walang damit at umalun sa langan. Subalit ang ibang alagad ay lumapit sa bangka na hila ang lambat na puno ng isda sapagkat sila hindi malayo sa lupa, kundi halos siyam na pumitro ang layo. Nang sila ay makadaon sa lupa, nakakita sila noon ng mga nagbabagang uling at may isdang nakalagay sa ibabaw at tinapay. Sinabi sa kanila ni Jesus, dalhin ninyo rito ang ilang isdang na huli ninyo ngayon, kaya't si Simon Pedro ay sumampa sa bangka at hinila ang lambat sa lupa na puno ng malalaking isda na isang daan at limampot tatlo. At kahit gayon, karami ay hindi nasira ang lambat. Sinabi sa kanila ni Jesus, hali kayo at mag-almosan. Sino man sa mga alagad ay hindi nang ahas na siya ay tanungin, sino ka? Yamang alam nila na yun ay ang Panginoon. Lumapit si Jesus, dinampot ang tinapay at ibinigay sa kanila pati ang isda. Ito ang ikatlong pagpapakita ni Jesus sa mga alagad pagkatapos na siya ay bumangon mula sa mga patay. Come and have breakfast. The disciples could have been exhausted and Jesus had prepared for them this breakfast at the shore. And this happened during that morning when they experienced a big catch. Nung sinabi ni Pagnus Christo that you cast the net at the right side of the boat, John knew it was the Lord Jesus. Immediately, sinabi niya kay Pedro, who jumped out into the water to swim to shore. Now, ang ginawa ni Pedro ay hindi ito ang first time, kundi pangalawang beses na ito. He did not waste time to be with the Lord. And I think that's a gesture and an action that Peter really, although he showed a sign na parang bumalik sila siya sa facing when the Lord Jesus Christ had called him to go and face for men, Yet, maski sa kanyang ginawa, doon pa siya din pupunta kay Pahino sa Kristo. And that's a, that's a show of love and even though na we fail the, the Lord in many, many ways, hindi tayo magpalayo sa kanya because He is a forgiving God. He can forgive us not only one time but even many times. There is no such thing as He cannot forgive us. So si Pedro ay lumapit sa Kapinus Kristo. Although, naka, nagkamali siya. So, nung dumating ang mga tao o ang mga kasamahan niya ng mga apostoles, when they arrived at the beach, nakita nila that there was this small fire with a few fish already cooked and bread na nandun din si Pedro at si Panginoon sa Kristo. Now, they did not ask questions about Jesus' identity anymore. This can, this can be taken in several ways na hindi sila nagtanong. But most probably, John was emphasizing the lack of doubt as if saying, there's no need to ask since it's clear. Hindi na kailangan magtanong sila it's evident na si Panginoon Kristo yun. Even though Jesus' appearance was not exactly as it had been, there was no valid reason to think he was someone else. Yes, ang kanilang mga doubts, ang kanilang 
mga pagdadalong isip was cleared when they saw the Lord Jesus Christ. Ang makita natin dito is yung pagmamahal talaga ni Panginoon sa Kristo sa kanila because si Jesus po ang lumapit sa kanila. Jesus came and took the bread. You know, he cooked the feast and binigay niya ito mga pagkain sa kanila. This should have reminded them about Jesus claim earlier as the bread of life in John chapter 6. And also during the last supper at that upper room when the Lord Jesus broke that bread and distributed that bread among them. This simple act of Jesus sharing a meal, especially in the ancient world, demonstrated their friendship and trust. Ito po yung madalas na kustombre o kultura nila in the ancient world that they really treasure their friendship and relationship. Nanaling at talagang mahal ni Panos Kristo ang mga apostoles. Ang kanyang papakita ng tenderness or gentleness has been portrayed here apparently. Hindi niya ni-rebuke ang mga disciples. Hindi, hindi niya pinagalitan. Kasi hindi, hindi po na hindi niya alam ang mga mangyayari katulad nito because he predicted before the crucifixion, before even he was taken captive by the enemies, na sila po ay they will be scattered and they will fail him. In other words, Jesus knew his men were weak and feeble. Anong lesson sa atin ito sa umagang ito? Let's look into the Jesus' tenderness and gentleness. I hope that ang ating motivation na lalapit tayo sa kay Painon sa Kristo, katulad kay Pedro, he jumped out into the water to be there, to be ahead of the pack. What motivation na ginawa ni Pedro yun? He did not wait that the boat would land aground into the shore. Pero lumangoy siya talaga to be with Jesus. Why? Because I think he saw the tenderness and the gentleness of Jesus. When we look at the cross, yes, it's a sign of cruelty. It's a sign of evil, punishment, death, and suffering, but it's also a sign of tenderness and gentleness because it was there that our Savior had shown His mercy and love to us. Pinakain sila. There was no question asked. They were filled that morning. And I think that's a show na ang ating Panginoon I, he is so tender and gentle to reject us. So I would like to encourage each one of us this morning. Perhaps you feel that you are running away from God. You have been disobedient and you have been unfaithful to God. But let it be that you will look unto the gentleness and the Tenderness of God. God can forgive us. God is gentle. God is tender. In the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. He understands our friend. Si Panos Cristo ay hindi nag-demand sa kanyang mga apostolis ng perfection. Sa atin din, He did not demand perfection na panas. Ang kanyang desire sa atin is growth and maturity. And you know, growth and maturity happens despite of failures. Failures are part of life. Failures are part of our growing process because he understands our frame that you are not perfect. So, whether anong kalagayan mo ngayon sa pag-serve sa Panginoon, just continue to hang on 
cling unto the thunders and the gentleness of Christ. God can give you a new start. God can give you a new beginning. Manalangin tayo. Thank you, Lord, for this picture that Jesus had dined with them or na kumain kasama mga pustules at the shore of the Sea of Galilee. He was the one who prepared the food for them. What a picture, Lord, of his tenderness and gentleness. He initiated it. Lord, salamat po na pinakita niyo sa amin na despite kung ano man ka, ano man ang nangyari sa buhay namin that we failed you, this was a thing as hopeless case because you are always there to manifest yourself to us and help us to learn this principle today and live it not only for today but every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.